Welcome back to Fox 2 News in your neighborhood. We're taking the show on the road once again today. We've made it to South County where, you know, you can live anywhere, but why not a pineapple under the sea? Why not, right? People know the reference. Yeah, absolutely. SpongeBob, <laughs> we have Steve uh, Babcock joining us with the Corner Reef. And you used to be in Columbia, Illinois. Now you're right here in South County. Yeah, yeah. We, we made the move over to, to find a little more traffic, and it, it's, it's panned out well for us. So. How's it been during the pandemic? Is this one of those where people are like, okay, I got a little extra time on my hand. Let me, let me try something like this. How's it been for you guys? So the pandemic has been, um, been great for us. Uh, the biggest challenge for, with the pandemic is, is we need more people working here to keep up with the demand. So, so the pandemic's been fantastic, very busy, and uh, people, people don't stay out of the store, so. Yeah, what, what can people find here? Anything. Anything saltwater related, um, fish, coral, supplies, hardware, um, anything you really want to do to get into the saltwater hobby, we, we, we will provide that. I've had tanks over the year, and I come back into a shop like yours, and I'm like, ooh, I want to set this up again, but I never do very well. And you say the key is setting it up right. So what do people like myself do wrong when you first get started? How do you get it started right? So there's a myriad of ways to do it that are right, getting the proper filtration, getting some components in place to help with overall tank health. Water quality is, is paramount. Without water quality, fish are gonna suffer, coral's gonna suffer. So it, it's, it's all about setting it up right. It costs a little more up front. It costs a lot less long term. You know, you always hear about clownfish. Everybody wants a Nemo. Mm -hmm. They're very hardy fish. Since you mentioned Nemo, because those are the only fish that I recognize. When I come in, I see Dory, I see Nemo. You know, you go yeah. down that list. Movies like that really help you guys, don't they? At least with exposure to these kind of animals. They, they absolutely do, and there you see a you see a little a little push in business when they're released. And uh, what I always found really funny and ironic about Finding Nemo was Dory; those fish behave just like she does in the movie. <laughs> when you when you catch a fish and put it in a bucket, they lay on their side. They're goofy. Like I mean, they're. <laughs> They all act like that movie. They, they, they really did a great job oh, on, on casting that movie, yeah. All right, I'm gonna put you on the spot here. What's the most expensive tropical fish like this you can get? <sighs> oh gosh, so... Like in your store, like for you... Where, well, where, what's where, here like, right what, now, what I mean, I have a, a fish who is kind of an underhanging, cave-dwelling type fish. He sh he'll probably be an, under there. That's called the Borbonius antheus. Oh, yeah. wow. And that's a beautiful that. fish. When we feed, he'll come out. <laughs> he's he's like a seven or eight hundred dollar fish what? but but oh, you're you know <laughs> you're rare but there are plenty of fish that are you know economical yeah, you know right. you're, you're you're 12 and 20 and 30 dollar fish there's plenty of them all right can you tell folks where you're located we are in South County Mall mm -hmm. where we are in the Home Depot parking lot directly behind Hooters all right we there got that go. again Steve back owner of the corner reef great to see you appreciate you having us here today I, I appreciate you guys coming out thank you, thank you so much much more ahead we're live in your neighborhood South County